Good afternoon. I'm here with Jim Hand at Westbrook Middle School. Good afternoon, Jim. Good afternoon, Leah. Uh, Jim, what do you teach? I teach fifth grade language arts and social studies. Awesome. And how long have you been teaching for? I'm in my 15th year. Great. Awesome. And I love your classroom. There's so much to look at. Um, tell us a little bit about your dynamic classroom. Dynamic classroom is where we try to get uh, the students out of their seats and, and in a more moving mode, so to get away from the old lecture and, yeah. and gra uh, handout sheets. Yeah. And, um, so yeah, so it seems to have worked very well this year. They seem to really in enjoy it. And as you yeah. look around, you can see so some of the dynamic children. classroom activities we've done in the past. Yeah, and tell us about your like road to the revolution. This was a part of your dynamic classroom. Yeah, uh, about a chapter ago, the students were learning about the tensions between Great Britain and the colonies. Mm -hmm. And one particular activity I, I came up with, just I was sitting by myself, just brainstorming, what can I do to make it more dynamic, <laughs> get them up out of the seats and moving. Mm -hmm. uh, I gave them six topics from the chapter, okay. everything from the proclamation of 1763 all the way up to the French and Indian War. Yeah. And they worked with their table groups and they had to put from what they thought was the least impactful event right. all the way up to the most significant impactful event. Right. And when I hang, hung the 12 posters up, yeah. I was surprised to see that they had pretty much put them in very similar order. That's so they yeah, I found that very interesting. Yeah. There is some differentiation in them, yeah. but they all seem to put the proclamation of 1763 as the least important okay. event right. of what led up to the tensions between the colonies. That's awesome. And then you were saying you get them in circles and they have to discuss it. Yes. At the end, uh, they sat in a big circle. Yeah. And we talked about each group and how they stacked their important items. Yeah. And they defended their thinking. Yeah. That's great. And, and I thought it worked out. It really worked out way better than I thought when I thought of it in my head. Yeah. And I said to myself, oh, this is really good. We'll definitely include it next yeah, year. Yeah, I think it's an amazing, as a history teacher myself, I know that I'm absolutely going to use this idea because um, it's a great way to get kids interacting with the material. And you're right, it's dynamic. It gets them discussing with each other, then having to back up their um, their chart thinking, with reasoning. Mm -hmm. right. Yeah, so I think that's awesome. Well, thank you for sharing that project with me. And You're welcome. To Paramus uh, Public Schools. To Paramus Public Schools. Paramus.